What is going on? Uh, so, sorry, I'm uploading a bit late. Um, the last time it took me a while to get it on my phone. This time it did the same amount of time to, like, about an hour. But I had to screen record it, uh, so that's why you're gonna see some specs of screen recording. And one thing that I forgot to say at the video is, um, so what you have to do is, uh... You have to keep the flash drive in while you are playing to, uh, because if you unplug it, obviously, it'll remove all the files. And, uh, so, yeah, just en enjoy. So, hey guys, this is my first voiceover. So, basically, what I did was I plugged in the flash drive to the, uh, to the desk, to my desktop, and then, uh, as you saw there, you will be able to see that it's plugged in. And uh, so now you want to go to the uh, to the uh, to the application on your desktop and click Open File Location, and then you should see it. So now go uh, go to the folder of Epic Games, and you want to copy it into the uh, to your flash drive. So just. Uh, Wait a little while, and uh, so I already had mine installed for this. So what you want to do is just uh, you you want to just go by and uh, quickly check that everything's there. Um, everything should be there, and um, so and if everything is there, then you should be fine. So yeah, I just I just uh, I checked every single fo folder, and. Um, there were like four thousand something uh documents and it took like only about five minutes to to move everything to to uh to my flash drive so uh it, it didn't take that long actually um and I'll put a link for the flash drive as I said in the video um and I think I said this too it's like five five bucks maybe so then uh yeah that's it bye. So, um, I'm really sorry, but it took me super long, one sec, it took me super long to first, uh, to film the first video and get it onto my phone. Again, like last video, I had to, um, I had to screen record it on my phone, uh, but I'll edit that part out. Um, so, basically, um, now that you have it, and, uh, in the first video, I already had it pre-downloaded because it would be a lot easier and it would take a long time and I didn't want to do that to you guys to make you guys wait. You'll have to wait like five minutes for all the files to transport. But um, so you're basically, what you're basically going to need is a 32 gigabyte flash drive. Um, if you do not have a 32 gigabyte flash drive, um, it, you, you should get one because that's, that's what you're going to need. So in this case, the flash drive is going to act as an external hard drive. And this means that um, that it will be able to transport all the files. And um, by the way, I'll put a link. And I'm sorry I didn't put the links in the other one. I'll edit the other one because I know you guys have been asking me for them. Uh, so I'll put the link for this. They're like five bucks, so five dollars for for this. And um, so at like Best Buy. So uh, I'll put the links in and. Uh, yeah, so basically, now that you have all the uh, Fortnite files stored on this, what you want to do is uh, you want to go plug it into your Flash, your Chromebook. So, and then you should see that it turns red. Um, so, it says, removable device detected. And so that means that you're good. So that means that's in. So just check that's in. And then what you want to do is head to Chromebook, and uh, it's head to the files, and then you'll see Lexar. So now, um, as you saw in the other one, you're going to have all of these files, and um, there, some of them are going to be archived, um, and you could just run them through Zip Extractor, and I'll put the link for that too. Um, you can run them through Zip Extractor and get the zip files out, so if you want to do that. So... Just make sure that um that all the files are in here. So like you have uh, self update staging, uh, content, web, 
and then you should see some files um, get the installer and then these are what help install the game they're not a lot of stuff but uh, they're all there so you want to go to Lexar and um, just make sure to go to Epic Games go to the launcher and oh sorry I just went there uh, so then you're gonna go direct X uh, Reddit so this basically um, what this does is uh, it just installs all of the files for Fortnite. So, um, if it didn't work for you last, uh, the last video that you watched, um, then that means that the uh, that you didn't get all the files. You only got the initial thirty point eight mil megabyte file. And also, um, so some of you some might have seen this, but uh, um, uh, you'll be able to. Sorry, one sec. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, so some of you got this thing called a 0.img, and uh, for 648 me uh, megabytes. So that, what that is, is um, it's basically one of the files that you're going to need. And as I said in the first video, Chrome is very similar to Linux, to Linux. So it will be able to run a .app file. So... Uh, because that'll be an application file, and uh, and Linux can run zip, but uh, zip is more of a compressed file, so that's why I say run it through the zip extractor, because if you want to decompress those files and throw them on the flash drive, um, it'll be able to run fast. And um, with the 32 gigabyte flash drive, uh, since it is, um, since it's bigger than the actual file, and with the combined RAM of the Chromebook, it will be able to run faster. So, uh, now what you want to do, here, I'll be right back, uh, just to show you guys how to, um, how to open up the file. All right, hey guys. So I'm back again. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so I just had to find um, the 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 location of the file on on my um, on my PC over here. So so basically, uh, what I did was um, so you have to go into uh, Lexar, Epic Games, Launcher. Portal, binaries, and then you can go to Win64 or Win63 or Win32. So then you're gonna see all of these files. So basically, um, or you can uh, there's also I'm pretty sure there's one in. Um, uh, okay, never mind. So the cool thing about this is that you can see all of the codes and. Um, uh, so while converting it uh, on the flash drive, um, if you get um, if you got uh, like a Lexar one, for example, it uh, it'll convert some of the code to HTML, and that'll make it compatible with Chromebook. So uh, that's kind of what you're gonna want to do. So um, so go to Portal Binaries Win32, and then you want to go to uh, Epic Game Launcher. Dot, so exe is basically the file that uh, it kind of ch it it opens it opens the game and like so like as it's going in it kind of checks all the files to make sure that it doesn't have viruses. So exe is not compatible with Chromebook. So we're gonna close this and then convert dot exe to dot So, this is actually one of the sites that I have used. So, they're going to Lexar, and same thing basically Launcher, Portal, uh, Binaries, 32. And then you're going to go, oh yeah, yeah, back. I 
Okay, I'm gonna do Win64. I mean, yeah, I want. So they also have the old version, which is before it's updated, because they also have um, automatic update yeah, as one of the features. So you're just gonna like, choose this one, open, and then convert file. So when that's done, you're just gonna wanna. It'll um, it'll be able to open the file. And, um, yeah, so it'll be able to open the file. So, just let it process. And I'll put this link in the description, too. Because I've used this before. Alright, now let it download. And if you notice, it's not a zip archive. It's just dot .zip. So there we go. There we go. Okay. So, and that's pretty much it. So, we're going to want to go back into Lexar and then just and then go back onto the application file. One sec, sorry about that. And just uh and just click open. So, yeah, let's see they have a self-updating stage. And uh yeah, that's pretty cool. Then um, let's go back to the portal. Uh, sorry. Also, they have uh, like extras that you can see. Sorry, um, but they have this too, and that will open because it's under a zip file, so it will tr convert it into a zip file. So binaries one sixty four, and then and then boom. That's uh, pretty. That's pretty much it. And you want to click on that, and then just let it load, and it should take about five minutes. See, as you can see, dot exe. All right, I will be right back when it opens. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe because, again, I worked my butt off for this video too. So, um, yeah. Uh, and uh, basically, by the way, the, um, the, the gameplay is going to be, um, it's going to be faster. So there's really no point in, like, showing it because it's the same one as the last video. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, just leave a like, comment, subscribe, share. And peace out.